I feel like you might be looking at it and being like, hmm, that looks like it's a little bit on the blonde side. A little bit like it wants to lean blonde, but then you realize it's not blonde. However, I feel like some of you are probably gonna be like, no, I don't like that color. <laughs> but I think you'll probably understand why I like this one the best when I show you. So not to keep you waiting anymore. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Chiquel YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm really excited to be able to get the opportunity to show you three colors from the gray color family. I have two from John Renault and one from Ellen Villa. So before I jump into that, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, I know, I know, I don't share a ton of gray options here on my channel. I'm gonna try my best to share what I can when I can. And right now I happen to have three gray colors on me. So I'm like, yes, now is the perfect time to share these with all of you. So let me hop right to it and show you guys the first wig and the first color I have here. And this one's by John Renault. I'm showing the wig Christie, and this is in the color 39 slash 51 slash 60, otherwise known as Miss. Now, one thing I love about this color is that it doesn't scream that it's too gray. It's a very soft and subtle gray. So it has sort of a mixture of three colors in here. We have the 39, which is actually going to be more of a pale brown color. It's kind of hard to pick out any of that pale brown when you come up close. But as a whole, what that pale brown does is it just kind of tones down that gray, makes it look almost a little bit like it wants to lean blonde, but then you realize it's not blonde. But the brown or that pale brown in here really gives it a little bit more of a subtle gray as opposed to screaming gray. Now we're also gonna have the color 51 in here, which is more of a pale gray tone, and then 60, which is white. So all of that combines together to make this really beautiful color called mist. Let me spin for you so you can see all of this piece. Okay, now just in case you're having a hard time trying to see how much of a gray tone it actually is, I have Shaded Biscuit here, and this is a popular blonde color by Raquel Welch. So here, this is a nice sort of neutral with some sandy tones and cooler tones. And this is it compared to Mist. So you can see that Mist definitely leans a lot more gray than it does on the blonde side. Okay, next up, I wanna show you guys another color by John Renault called Martini. And the color code for this one is 101F48T. So it is a little bit of a mouthful of numbers and letters there. Let me go ahead and put Martini on. I'm showing this to you in the wig called Elite <laughs> by John Renault. I like Elite much better in person than I do in the stock image for some reason. I put this on and I was like, actually, this is a really cute pixie cut. So let me just first spin and show you this cute little cut. Okay, so 101 F48T. When you look at this color, I feel like you might be looking at it and being like, hmm, that looks like it's a little bit on the blonde side. And you know what? You're not completely wrong. I feel like it does lean like a little bit of a blondy, whitish gray color. Um, here it is in comparison to Shaded Biscuit. So it does have some of those tones, but when you do look at it, you can see that it does lean more on the white and gray tones. And I do feel like in person, it is kind of in between Mist and Shaded Biscuit. And that's because within this color, there is a little bit of light brown in here. So that light brown in here, it gives it a little bit of a dirty blonde color. Let me come closer to see if you can see any of that in here. But it's also mixed with 75% gray. So that light brown is mixed with 75% gray, which is why this is a gray color. Plus, whenever you see the letter F in it, that means there's something a little bit unique. So we have 101F48T. So what's a little bit unique about this color is that they have brought to the front um, more of a soft, pale white. 
It's kind of harder to see because this is a shorter piece, so that it's not as prevalent, but the front is a little bit more on the soft white side. And also the T in this color code means that the tips are gonna have a little bit more prevalence of the highlighting. So you're gonna see a little bit more of that soft white at the tips. I will say it is kind of hard to pick out. That is what the color code tells us, but it's not like, bright white tips or a bright white front. It's just very subtly there. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next color I have here. And like I said, I had two by John Renault, one color by Ellen Villa, and I am actually personally in love with this color. However, I feel like some of you are probably gonna be like, no, I don't like that color. But I think you'll probably understand why I like this one the best when I show you. So not to keep you waiting anymore or anything. <laughs> but this color here is called Metallic Blonde Rooted. I know so many of you are like, get those roots out of these gray colors. Whose hair grows dark at the roots and then gray? Cause usually that's not how it works, right? When you are turning gray, it's your roots that are gray and then your ends that are the darker color. But this is more of what we would call, I guess more of a fashion gray color. So I'm gonna be showing this in the wig called Relax by Ellen Villa, of course. And this is probably one of my very favorite pixie cuts. It is so funky. It is so layered. I love it. This is a pixie cut. I don't wear a lot of pixie cuts, but if I were to wear more, this would be one that I would wear. Let me show it to you. You might notice that Relax does not look as shiny as the other two wigs I was showing you because Relax is actually made with heat-friendly synthetic fibers as opposed to just synthetic. So look, you can kind of see a big difference. Synthetic fibers typically are going to be quite a bit shinier than heat-friendly synthetics. So if you really want to stay away from that shine, then I would venture into the heat-friendly synthetic world. That being said, you can fix shine by using some dry shampoo, spraying it all over, or sprinkling some baby powder all over it, working it in, and that helps to matte down the shine a little bit. But if you're just like, I don't want any part in that, then you might like these heat-friendly fibers better. All right, so what Metallic Blonde Rooted is, is going to be like a pearly platinum blonde color mixed with pearly white and a bit of gray as well. Plus, of course, we have these roots. Now these roots aren't just medium brown roots like a lot of wigs have. This is like almost black and it's almost to the point where it looks like a blue black. You know when you have black that just like looks like it's a little bit blue? This kind of looks that way. It's not blue, but it, it almost is. So these roots are, are quite stark. You can see them. And I do love though how it creates a lot of depth within this color. Now, obviously I love this color so much, but I know that it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea. All right, you guys, that was just a quick, short and sweet showcase of these three gray colors that you can go and check out. If you are wanting to look at more gray colors that I've shown, I will go ahead and link those below so that you can take some time to go and check out even more grays. But also let me know in the comments if there is a specific gray color that you are dying to see. Let me know and I'll see what I can do to get my hands on it so I can show you. But that's all I'm gonna share with you for now. So I will let you go. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.